Now, when you think of printers and scanners and barcode readers, I first would say, oh, it's output. But no, that's not true, isn't it? With in terms of a scanner, like you see in the upper left, a flatbed scanner, there you're digitizing, say, a document or a photograph, and you're providing it as input to the computer. Now, the trends with scanners have been, first of all, the connector, the interface, parallel and SCSI or the old historical artifacts then USB, still standard, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and receipts. What do I mean by that? Well, that neat receipt printer you see in the upper right at the left-hand side of this slide is a device that I myself own. It's a really convenient way for scanning and receipts, especially for travel. Now, of course, some of my colleagues at Pluralsight say, Tim, why did you invest in a receipt scanner? You can use your iPhone and do scanning and even optical character recognition. That's true. It's amazing how far technology has come, hasn't it? Now, barcode and if you've ever heard of QR, the quick response codes, those readers are cool for asset tracking and business. For instance, in my work as a systems administrator over the years, I'm a big fan of keeping track of inventory data in a centralized way. So in other words, I would associate a barcode with a particular asset and then just stick that barcode on the device and when, if ever I need to check the device in or out, I can use a USB connected or maybe even Bluetooth connected barcode reader like you see in the picture to scan the code. Really convenient. Quick response codes, which you see on your screen right here, are along the same lines as a barcode, only they're a little bit different in their use. You've probably seen QR codes out and about and advertisements and stuff. If you have a QR reader application on your smartphone, you can simply open up that application and use your phone's camera to read in the QR code and from what I've used QR codes for they almost always will take you to a website so it provides a handy way to share web addresses with people and saves them from having to type it in but I can see QR codes also serving as excellent IDs when you're doing asset tagging this is a asset tag you see at left that includes both a barcode and a QR code it's interesting that this provides a level of confidentiality for the business too because there's no human readable text between the barcode and the QR code you might be able to find out everything possible under the Sun regarding a particular asset maybe user Jane Smith's computer needs to go in for repairs you can take your trusty barcode reader out scan the barcode in and up on your computer screen comes everything you need to know about that device like I said this is really the way to go when it comes to inventory management especially for for us in IT.